Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the video. In this one, we're talking Steal Like an Artist. Now, this is a book written by Austin Kleon. Uh, it's actually a self-help book, a creativity guide, and it actually is, is more encouraging you to embrace your creativity, find inspiration from other people, other sources, and develop your own style. Everybody gets their style or their ideas from somebody else. So I'm gonna show you more of a color-driven thing here in Affinity Photo, how to steal like an artist and apply it to your own designs. So let's go. Okay, everybody, so we're in Affinity Photo and we're gonna start stealing some of these colors to apply them to our own design. So I got this cool artwork, this cool picture here, and I really like the colors and the way it was uh, kind of put together. So I'm just gonna put this over here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a rectangle, a shape from my tools menu on the left-hand side here. I'm just gonna drag out a uh, rectangle. There's, it's uh, set to white right now, so you can't really see it. So what I'm gonna start doing is grabbing the colors from this photo. So with my rectangle selected, I'm going up to my color picker tool in the top right corner here. I'm gonna click my mouse, hold it, drag it over to the artwork, and I'm gonna grab the yellow first. I'm gonna let go. And you'll see now the color picker in my top right corner now has been changed to yellow. So my rectangle selected, I'm gonna hit that. So that changes to that yellow. Perfect, so now I got the yellow. So next, I'm gonna duplicate this shape so I can sample the next color. And the easiest way to do it is if you are on a Mac and you hit Option, click, drag. If you're on a PC, you'll hit Alt, click, drag. And you'll have another, um, uh, you'll have a duplicate there. You can also hit Command J or Control J uh, on a PC to duplicate. So now I'm gonna grab my color picker again with my second rectangle selected. I'm gonna grab uh, this ready orange looking one here, perfect. I'm gonna duplicate again, so I have another rectangle. I'm gonna go back to my color picker and I'm gonna grab this teal looking color here. Grab that. I'm gonna duplicate again. And this time I'm gonna grab this uh, light blue here. And then I'm gonna duplicate one more time and I'm gonna grab the darker blue in the bottom right corner here. Perfect. Okay, so now I have all the colors besides this dark one here of this design. So I'm gonna use these colors here Hold from this one into my own design. So let's grab these guys here. I'm gonna grab all those guys and I'm gonna hold copy. So I copy them all. And I'm gonna go over to this mock-up here of this bag. So I downloaded this mock-up and I can basically go in and design uh, this, this front of this bag. So what I'm gonna do is turn this mock-up off. So if I do that, I'll go back and you'll see the, ba the bag is just blank now. And if you don't know about mock-ups, I'll link the video below, but I have a full video on this. And my idea here is I'm gonna grab this girl here and I'm gonna add those colors uh, into her. So what I'm gonna do is refine her first because there is a white background around here. So I'm grabbing the selection brush tool. I'm just gonna do this really quick. I'm gonna grab her as best I can here. And we'll do a quick refine after that just to, uh, I could have did this ahead of time, but I thought I would just show this portion as well. So she's mostly highlighted. I'm gonna refine. And if you don't know about refining, check out my video on the selection brush tool. That will teach you everything you need to know about making uh, isolation in Affinity Photo. So I'm just gonna do this quick. Fix that up there. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna grab this model here. So once this is refined here, now we have her. I'm gonna size her up a little bit more, make her a bit bigger. Maybe something like this, we'll see. Um, and now I'm gonna bring those colors in. I'm gonna go edit, paste, because I copied those colors previously. Now here's all those colors. So I'm just gonna make them a little bit bigger here. And maybe I'll do, I'll show you what it looks like if it's clipped right in. Let's just do the whole thing. I'm gonna drag it out to maybe about here. So it goes the length of the model there. Maybe a little bit bigger on this side. And I'm just gonna clip all of these inside of the model. So now we have this kind of a look. And if I go back to the bag, this is now our design. So what we did is we took, sampled the colors from this really cool picture. We created a mock-up and we painted, pasted these colors inside of our design to make our own cool design. And I'm gonna say, uh, uh, I don't know what to say here, um, which is rare, colorful. Change it to impact, shall we? One of our favorites. And we could do the same thing. I'll show you what it looks like right now. We could leave it like that, or we could take the same colors again and paste it in there. If I went, uh, let's see, edit, paste again. We would paste those same colors in again. 
And if I drag them out like this, maybe, and like this, and made them really small, this may be a terrible idea, but we're going on the fly here. I'm gonna clip those into the text. And let's see that. There we go. So now we have this cool bag that we've taken sampling those colors to create our own design. Let's do another uh, quick one here. So I found this really cool old sign here and I really like the, uh, the colors. Um, people who created stuff back then really had some cool stuff going on. And uh, we're gonna sample these colors. So I'm gonna pull this design over to the side and this time for shapes, I'm gonna grab circle. So I'm gonna grab a little circle. I'm gonna draw it a circle. I'm gonna sample the dark blue first right here. I'm gonna sample that. And then I'm gonna duplicate again another circle. And I'm gonna grab uh, this ready kind of color. Sample again or grab another thing. I'm gonna grab the orange this time and I want it to be kind of a bright orange. I'm gonna grab that one there. And I'll grab one more, which will be this. It's not really white, it's more of like a cream color. I'm gonna grab that. So now I have these cool four colors and I'm gonna grab those. I've sampled them all out of this cool old sign. And I'm gonna use this mock-up now on this bottle and I'm going to get rid of that design. So now the uh, label is just blank and I'm gonna paste these colors in here to see what they look like. And I'm going to make them much bigger. So they cover the whole bottle, maybe something like that. So we go back to the bottle, it now looks like that. And um, I did want to grab this as well. So I'm just gonna write a title on here. I'm gonna call it the juice and change that font to something else like this. Put it in like that and I want to paste this girl jumping. Turn it back on and I'll put her maybe here, here, I don't know, here. Maybe something like that. And uh, let's see, that will be our mock-up for this one. So same thing, we've taken these cool colors out of this old sign and repurposed into our own design to make something like this. We've done it fairly quickly. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, tap, tap, tap the like button. If you got any questions, please leave them below. I get back to everybody. Um, I will link some of my videos below that I think will be helpful. And if you've never seen my stuff before and you enjoyed this, well, why don't you go ahead and subscribe. We'll be best friends. We will go uh, to the mall and we'll gossip about people. Um, we'll people watch. Okay, uh, thanks. I'll see you in the next one.